dear viewers, I'm a beekeeper. My name is Fu Shijun. We are now ready to climb up this very steep cliff. We're going to burn some uh, plants here. Turn it around. So we are burning this wormwood so that we can send out some smell to the bee. And uh, we can maybe locate this hive. Maybe we can just place it there. No, this one is not mature. We can only harvest it maybe next year. We'll just leave this alone and let's keep on watching. Can you come closer? Brush the dirt. Let's check out this one. Well, it's pretty sticky and it's not mature. So this one doesn't work. So we have to climb up. Let's check out this one. It's connected at the bottom and uh, it doesn't work. How about we give it some taps? Yeah, there are some bees flying out. Well, let's check out this one. Watch out. Can you lean a little bit backward and let's check out this one? Well, uh, this feels good and let's check out the bottom. Is there an obstacle at the back? Yeah. Do it carefully and let's check out this one. How does this one feel? Well, I see plenty of honey at the bottom. Put it down and it's not ready. Let's keep looking. Well, this one takes another few months. Let's give it some incense of the wormwood. Alright, forget about it. Let's just keep looking. We'll just go from the bottom all the way to the top.
See, there is a yellow bee here. Where is it? The yellow bee is not what we feed here, and it's actually preys on those small bees, and it's very bad. It's just annoying. Well, let's walk up from here. Watch out when you move your steps. Well, this one looks good. Check this out. We're burning out those wormwoods. We have to light it up again. You have a paper or something? Yes. Well, the wormwood is a little bit wet. Well, let's keep looking. So the bees, they are very afraid of the incense of the wormwood. The wormwood is useful to disinfect and also help us keep off the bees. Can you lean just a little bit backward? Yeah. Put the stove here. Well, this one is now right. Uh, let's just keep looking. Watch out. Well, how about this one? How about this hive? This hive has been here for two years. Well, this one doesn't work. How about... Yeah. I'll just climb up, and later you pass me the bucket. Well, you need to watch very carefully. Let's check out this one. This one looks very ready, and uh, be very careful when you climb up. Well, let's try this one out. It's very risky here. Uh, let's just focus on this one. Did we just lose the brush? Where, where did I put the brush? Well, then just, just forget it. It's too far away. Just climb up.
날이 가열 어. 看一下啊，这一下，看这个岩面，看打开是是什么样的，还不知道里头是什么样啊。But we don't know what will be inside. We don't know whether there will be honey inside this hive, and we can only know when we open the box, when we open the hive, and if there is no honey, we can only climb up, stand still, and hold firm to the honeys. How about you hold it first? Well, let's just give it a couple of taps and let's see if there is any honey inside. We still don't know and it looks it's ready for a good harvest, but we don't know. Well, this is too difficult because you can hardly maneuver here on this height, and uh, we can give it a couple of taps. It, it's too high above the ground, and uh, it's very risky here. Pass me the knife, please, and let's uh, open the hive and let's see if there is honey inside. And if if not, we will have to climb up. Yes, it looks very positive. Feels good. Just stand still there. Yes, we have some honey, but not very full of the, not quite feeling the hive. We have some honey here. Can you uh, hold the knife and let me give it some incense of the wormwood? You have to use the wormwood to keep off the bees. I got a sting on my hand. Just give it some incense, and um, because the bees are very aggressive, we're using the wormwood to keep away the bees so that we can cut the nest very safely. Can you pass me the shovel? Well, plenty of bees here. Plenty of bees here, and let's give it more smoke. Uh, you can see how effective the smoke is, and all the bees at the uh, top level have uh, flown to the bottom. It smells very good. And you can even tell from the color. And because these bees, they feed on a lot of uh, medical herbs and a lot of uh, medical flowers, and so that's why it smells like medical herbs. No worries, we got the honeys. So, this is how you do your job. <laughs> the job is very easy. The difficult point lies in that you have to climb up. How often do you cut the nest? Well, once in a while. Because the bees, they are very protective of the honey, and uh, you have to be very careful when you cut the honey from the hive. And those are wild bees, and those are very aggressive animals.
All right, now let's uh, start the cutting. Look at this. This is just beautiful. Looks like we have a harvest here, and if you take a bite or take a taste, then it's very delicious, very sweet. I got a steam on my hand, but I have no other ways. I can only tolerate this, and we have to accelerate our pace. And this is very good. And it has to wait for like two years. And if it's if it's one year, you can barely have anything from the beehive. You can fill the bucket actually. Wonderful. I can give it more shovels. You can simply uh, fill the pot. Give me more, please. Lovely. We are filling the pot, and uh, we could barely hold more. Uh, because after this, we won't touch the hive for like next year. So that's why we have to fill in the pot. And because we won't be able to open the beehive for like one or two years, and there are a lot of honey at the bottom, and we have to empty the beehive. All right, let's uh, just leave it like this. Why we could only harvest this much because we will have to leave sufficient livestock for the winter. You can put the pot on a box if you want. Well, I just hold it in my hand for a while. How do you pass it to me? Well, you can simply place it on a high for a while. Wonderful. What a harvest. Lovely. So we're going to climb down. Yes. Watch out and be very careful. And when you go down, you can go to the left. Well, let's give it more smoke. Because all the bees, they we have to fly back to their home, and later all the bees are gonna fly back, and we have to be very careful and protective of ourselves. So because all the bees, when they fly back home, they're gonna find the bee, and that's also very dangerous for us. All right, give me the knife. It's too risky here. So this is the harvest from one year. We didn't touch the hive for like one year, and you love it. So this is a complex feeling. You love it, and it's very difficult and dangerous, but you love what you have harvested. Just stand there still and uh, put the tools in a box. Uh, put the tools on a hive. So I won't be able to hold this pot with one hand. I need some help here. Yes. Just like this. You may need to move faster because later all the bees are going to fly back. Are you ready? I can still hold for like for a few seconds.
All the efforts are made for a taste of this weight, but it's worthwhile. Finally, we are one level down. We had very good harvest. You can simply put the pot there and we have another hive to open. All right, we had very good harvest and now let's open the next beehive. Just come up and have a rest and it's exhausting. So next, next one we're gonna find a hive from the other direction. Just stay out of the track of the bees flying back, and let's give it some wormwood smoke. Well, you will have to light it up again. Come up. Because the wormwood is a little bit wet, you have to. Ignite it again. lighting up. Well, we can sit down here for a while to have a rest. So, all the bees from the hive that we just worked on, they uh, flew away to some other places and later they're going to fly back. Lovely, this is so good. Dear viewers, my name is uh, Fu Yu Yu, and on this a very beautiful afternoon, I'm here at the Shenlongjia National Nature Reserve, and this is a natural home for the bees. And I can feel the fresh air here, and I can feel that there is a bit of sweat in the air. So what is it? I think you must have already known the answer, and that's the honeybee. On this cliff behind me, you can see hundreds of uh, beehives, and these are the very famous home for the Shenlongjia Asian bees. And just now, our beekeepers have demonstrated what they can do on the cliffs, and they can climb up the hills and collect all the bees. And later, I will also uh, experience this move, and you can take a look at what I'm holding on my hand. We, we've got a pair of gloves, and we've also got a PPE, and uh, this is the PPE with the hats. And later, I'm going to put on this suit, and I'm going to climb up with our beekeeper. And now let's just put on this PPE. So 
So it's long sleeves. It can protect you on the arm, on the head. So now I can get myself very well protected with this PPE, and I can broadcast this program behind this net. I can see you. I can, and you can hear me, and I can see all those bees flying at me later. And let's let me just put on my gloves. So now I'm all set. I'm ready to go. I'm fully equipped. So now let's just walk up. And the place I'm gonna go is actually very low, and it's at the lower quarter of the cliff. And、uh, I could never imagine to climb up the very cliff part of a、uh, very steep part of the cliff. And where Mr. Zhu was just now, it was just like 90 degrees vertical. Well, I'm just a beginner, and I will not. Climb the very steep cliff. I would just, you know, climb up a little bit to meet、uh, Mr. Zhu in the middle way. And you can see that there are some natural steps here. So we got some very thorny bars from the mountain, and those very thorny bars they are inserted in the mountain. So that you can place your beehive there, but we can we can also use it to climb up the mountain. So let me remind our viewers: do not try this by yourself because our、uh, Mr. Zhu and、uh, his assistant they have very、uh, rich experience climbing up the hills and cliff, and they have、uh, very professional trainings, and they also.、Uh, Have harnesses and PPE, and、uh, so let's let me just climb up. And、uh, I was watching Mr. Zhu just now, and、uh, and it feels very easy. But when you are actually trying the moves, then it's very difficult. You need to. Be very careful.、Uh, so where's Mr. Zhu? So Mr. Zhu is actually climbing up. Oh, too bad. So Mr. Zhu is climbing up. So Mr. Zhu is、uh, claiming a tooth、uh, which he left at the beehive above. But no worries. Let me just climb up. Because my because I'm holding the mic. Well, now I'm here. Have you found your two, Mr. Zhu? Oh my God! This is unimaginably difficult and.、Uh, I have to hold firm, hold firm to the bars, and it's only ten meters above the ground, and I can already feel how difficult and dangerous it is, and I'm already feeling a little bit nervous. And just now, when I was watching Mr. Zhu from the ground, I thought it was pretty easy at this attitude, and it doesn't look very steep, but still, it's very difficult. Hi, Mr. Zhu. So, since we are here together, can you give some introduction to our viewers about your about your、uh, honey? So, what are the measures that you look at when you、uh, determine whether a beehive is ready for harvest? So, first, you will have to check the bottom. You check the bottom. Oh yeah, a lot of the bees are flying out. Can you、uh, go a little bit to the left? Yes.、Yeah, so this hive is ready. So you can look from the bottom. 
you're using this uh, smoke, and I can, I can feel the smoke and this uh, wormwood. It's a very special flavor, and uh, we have been, as Chinese, we have been using wormwood smoke for a lot of uh, cases and scenarios, and it can disinfect. It can also uh, keep off the worms and insects. So we just use this smoke to keep off the bees. All right. This one looks very ready and mature. And uh, well, let me just wait for our cameraman who is still climbing up the cliff. And be very careful. Safety comes first. Can I give him a hand? Because the cameraman, as you know, he's carrying a camera with him. So let's just open the box and see how much we can harvest. So tell me something about the lid. Is it fully sealed? Yes, it's fully sealed. It's kind of protect the bees from the rainwater. Wow, it's a lot of bees. So the bees are already eating those honey. Uh, from my perspective, it's already filled with honey. Yes, it's too full because the bees, they are eating the honey already. So normally you only place, you only ensure, you know, you only cut one third away because you have to leave sufficient honey for the winter to, uh, for the bees to go through the winter. So the bees are already eating the honey. So is this the very traditional structure of the beehive? So we only have this one wooden box. Um, we have a cross within the box because this can stand up the nest, stand up the honey. Without this uh, structure, without this uh, cross, the whole nest may collapse to the bottom. So you can only place the nest above the cross and you cannot place anything below the cross. So We've seen a lot of comments, and uh, they want to they want to know where can they buy your honey. And uh, well, I can tell you that you can find the link of this uh, shop from the common area. You can also search Shenlongjia Specialty Gallery from the Taobao Shopping Mall. And have you noted down those uh, tips? So you can take a look at the honey that we just cut off from the nest. You can actually eat it directly. A lot of the bees are flying and are perching on those uh, nests. And so this is a very good honey. And uh, so people can actually take a bite directly. Well, since I'm wearing this PPE, and, but I g I've got a spoon. So this is fairly uh, old, and uh, so how old is this nest? Two years. Well, let me uh, let me feed you. Very sweet. I want another bite. Just a little. This one is very good. So, are there are there bees inside? Because it's very sweet and it can easily attract a lot of bees, and uh, so that's why you have to be very fast when you cut the honey from the nest. And uh, so, what's also in my mouth is the nest. Yes. And it's very uh, delicious, very sweet. 
you can see that there are a lot of bees here, and they are just simply following the flavor. And uh, we had very good harvest today, and it's just wonderful. We got another full pot here, and uh, we have another comment asking where he can buy this honey. And uh, you can go to the Shenlongjia Specialty Gallery from the Taobao Shopping Mall, and you can simply make some purchase from there. And uh, so after the cutting, let's put the lid back, and uh, we cannot cut everything out from the box. And we have to leave some uh, feedstock for the bee to go through the winter. And uh, because the productivity of the honey here in Shenlongjia is not very sufficient, and uh, those bees are very, this honey is very um, precious. And uh, we had a very good harvest. And now let's uh, climb down. I'm going to go down from this way. You know, I'm going to take the routes I, I took when I climbed up. So people say it's easier climbing up. Now I'm climbing down, and it will be a lot more difficult. So I will have to use all my limbs. And I very hope to give you a very good image of me, but I will have to use all my limbs, and it will look very dumb. All right. I'm gonna climb down from here. I'm gonna I'm gonna move one step after another, and I know it will make me look very bad. Sorry for this. So you can take a view, take a very good look look at the view here, and it's very magnificent. It's such a great visual spe spectacle because on this steep cliff, you see nothing but hundreds of uh, beehives. No worries, I can climb down at my pace. I'm forgetting my image right now. I'm just climbing down in my own way. And uh, so here, let me again remind you not to uh, steal any honey from the bee nest in a well. And uh, do not climb very steep cliffs by yourself, because our um, cameraman and uh, our crew today, they are uh, fully experienced. They have gone through trainings. And don't try very dangerous staff when you are in a weld. It's easier here. It's only when you are personally here can you feel the difficulty and danger. Uh, I don't know how you feel watching this, but our cameraman told me that you know he actually climbed up with Mr. Ju before this program, and uh, he thought he had a lot of confidence from the ground. But after he climbed up the cliff, he did told me it was very dangerous and scary. So already. Um, Touching the ground. I'm using all my limbs, my arms, and my legs. So we have touched the ground. Now let me take off my PPE. So I still got a lot of bees flying around me. Mm. 
再把这个把这个外套脱了以后。So after taking off the PPE, I feel a lot cooler, and、uh, it's summer. But Shenlongjia is an area that is very cool. It has the lower temperature because it's a forest area. I'm wearing very thick clothing, as you can tell. I just did some climbing, and、uh, I was wearing a PPE, and it's very hot. But I don't feel the heat right now. Uh, so now let's continue, and、uh, so let me introduce to all of you. And Mr. Shen is the head of the district from Shenlongjia. So Mr. Shen has a lot of knowledge about the Shenlongjia National Nature Reserve, and、uh, he also has a lot of knowledge about this honey. So I want to ask you, why do people build the beehives on cliff? So this is a tradition here, and this is the smart way of raising bees because you can protect your bees and beehives from bears and from other animals. And、uh, another trick is that our beekeepers they have found out one pattern, and they've learned that the small bees they won't fly down and they only fly up. Why? Because after collecting the、uh, bee from a flower, and they they don't go down when they fly down. They can never fly up, and that's why they, you know, when they fly up, and they can very easily, you know,、uh, come back to their homes. And so, this is a lot easier for the bees to carry the honey. Back home, and so when this pattern was identified by the beekeeper, the beekeeper just placed all the beehives on the steep, very、uh, steep cliff, and also on the cliff we have a lot of medical herbs, and、uh, when there are medical herbs, and then the bees they can simply collect the. Honey from those medical flowers, and that is why this honey is very precious. And we have actually more than two thousand and five hundred different types of medical herbs, among which more than one thousand of them can be collected by the bees. So we've heard a lot of many different types of bee、uh, honey, but here in Shenlongjia, you call it a thousand flower. Flower honey. So yes, this is a national reserve,、uh, national nature reserve. We've had、uh, a history of more than 100 million years here, and it has existed for this long. And、uh, so the bees, they have a lot of、uh, wide-ranging options of you know with respect to what flower that they they select, and、uh, we do not allow external bees. To fly into Shenlongjia,、uh, so this is a species with a history of more than 100 million years, and they can fly a very wide range of area. And、uh, at around 40 degrees, these bees, most of the bees, they don't work. But here at Shenlongjia, the bees can continue working even at the temperature of 40 degrees. And also, this honey can help you keep off different bacteria. And viruses and、uh, the small bees we we raise here are very healthy. And let's just keep going and、uh, find a place to sit down and continue with our conversation. So, well, this is where we climbed. So, Mr. Zhu,、uh, the beekeeper, just had a very good harvest, and this is a full pot of、uh, honey. It's very fresh, and you can see that it's very fresh, and you can even smell the flavor of medical herbs and medical flower. And、uh, when you take a bite, and you feel full of、uh, sweet, and、uh, it's not very good, not just very good food, and it's also very good medicine, and it's very good for your health. So as you were introducing, I have、uh, noticed that、uh, a lot of the wild animals they may steal the honey from the beehives. So what are those wild animals? Well, I can tell you, it's the brown bear, the black bear, 
Uh, this is the favorite food for the brown bear. So yeah, exactly this is why we have prepared a clip. And uh, in this month, we caught from our camera that a brown, a black bear is stealing the honey from the beehives. All right, so the clip tells you that the black bear really loves honey, and it's just like a human, you know, it's it simply, you know, carried the beehive away. So we're giving it more smoke of the wormwood because the honey is very sweet, and uh, if you don't give it a lot of smoke, then it's going to attract more um, bee. So let's give it more smoke. So the bees will fly back to their homes. Uh, so how long does does one maneuver job takes for the bee? Well, depends on you know what rea what diameter you are talking about. And uh, normally it's uh, 1.5 kilometers. And uh, if they are selecting a flower that is very far away, that is longer than 1.5 kilometer parameter, uh, it may take them one day, uh, which means that they will have to maybe spend the night outside their homes. Uh, so that is why you barely touch and uh, move the beehive, and uh, because once you move them, and those bees, they won't be able to find their homes. Yes, and that is why we don't move the box throughout the year. And uh, so this is quite different from the other types of uh, bees and uh, this is fixed place in terms of their homes and for the other bees and they move along with the bees for the other beehives they move along with the bees so how often do you make a harvest so once in two years because uh, there is only a limited uh, types of uh, medical herbs and sources that we these bees can rely on and that's why we have a harvest once in every two years and so we do not have a very good productivity plus you have the thieves like the can of uh, bears so for this year alone we have missed 20 boxes and uh, the black bears they know when to come here and because we have cameras and we know when the black bears came so how hard this is? Well, we have all protection measures, and as long as the bears don't bring along their kids, uh, the baby bears, and uh, if you see the bear, uh, then they are gonna you know keep a distance with you, and if you leave, and they know that you have left, and then they are gonna be more aggressive, and they're gonna come closer and take the beehives away. I don't know. Those bears are very smart, and uh, when I come back, then those bears they would run away. Very cunning. So, in summer, when you travel to the wild and it's very fresh, and it's very likely that you make some encounters with the wild animals. And uh, I've read a lot of reports. And so, what should you do when you encounter a bear in a wild? So the wild animals, such as bear, they are actually afraid of human beings. And uh, for the wild animals, they are very active in the early morning. So in the early morning, you should avoid going deep into the wild. And so you do not disturb them in early morning. And also when you are in a wild, you do not, you know, confront with the bear directly. You just Pretend that you have not noticed the bear and do not harm the bear in the first place, and then you will be safe. So, in the summer, when you travel into the well, be very careful. And we have been sitting here for a while, and we very much want to take a taste of this honey. And uh, let's. 
Let's drive away those bees, and because these bees, they are very, you know, they are very protective of their honey, and uh, so this is very good color, and it looks translucent, looks very fresh. So as I have told you, that you have to place a cross in the box, and. Uh, this box, uh, this cross simply is there to support the nest, and it actually has three layers. And at the top layer is honey, at the middle layer is the powder, and at the bottom layer is the king of the honey, uh, the king of bee. And uh, so, so the bee king doesn't normally come back. Uh, it only comes back between March and uh, May. So we were given three cups of uh, water. So to taste the bee, you will have to use water at a temperature of uh, 60 degrees, and this will not affect the the nutrition of the honey. And so when you uh, saturate the honey you do not use water that is very hot uh, in order not to avoid damage on the nutrition so mr G mr Ju, everybody and let's uh, take a taste of the honey uh, as mr Ju has been working there for a very long time and it's such a difficult job so let's take a taste So it's very sweet. Um, you can feel this slight flavor of medical herbs. Uh, at this very hot summer, so we can drink some uh, honey water, and uh, we can also take some drinks. And uh, later, I hope we can be served with some tooth, and maybe I can make some drinks using the honey and uh, so not let's just you know keep talking about this you know a lot of the bees are flying here and so what is the average lifespan of the bees the king of the bee can live for like six years and for those working bees they can live for like 30 to 45 days so it's very short in terms of lifespan, and uh, from the, you know, when it is uh, three days old, it will start work already. So that's why we say that uh, those are very busy bees, and uh, most of the working bees, the working bees, they take a proportion of more than eighty percent, and uh, because those are the bees that are taking all the work. And uh, I've seen a lot of tourists here, and uh, because the epidemic in China has just been over, and uh, do you have any activities to attract the tourists? I've seen a lot of tourists here. So why do tourists love this honey? Number one, they can buy the best product from here, and uh, so. When the bees are collecting honey, it's actually a very lovely process, and uh, a lot of the tourists they can simply observe the bees from outside the beehives, and it's just very interesting, and it's just like watching people fish, you know, doing fishing by the lakeside, and so it's such enjoyment watching these working bees engage in their work. So I can, I had a lot of conversations with the tourists, and I can feel their love about the cliff honey. And uh, can you use one sentence to introduce this uh, honey? You can face the camera. I believe that the cliff honey in Shenlongjia is very precious, and it's also medicine. And after taking the honey here, you can extend your life, and you can have longevity. Well, 
I, I believe that it's very good for your health. For example, you, it's very good for your liver, for your stomach, for your uh, digestion system, and uh, so. So I highly recommend you to take some uh, honey and you can rub it on your face and it will be very good for your skin. Well, what a waste because it's such a low productivity every year and uh, I won't, you know, squander and uh, waste such precious uh, honey. So all right, we have the tools and now let me make a couple of drinks for all of you here for the district mayor and also for Mr. Ju. You can also put it in the liquor. Uh, so this is the honey lemon water. And from the name, you can tell what ingredients I'm using here. So we have uh, for each and every one of us a cup. And uh, let's place two slices of lemon and uh, when you're at home, you can actually remove the seeds of the lemon, and uh, the lemon seed is a little bit bitter. And uh, so now we can use the honey from the pot. Uh, this is the raw honey, and we can simply take a small slice, and it will taste very good, I can tell you, and uh, we can so take a look at this slice, and this is so tempting. This is so beautiful, and you can put it in a glass. Another thing very interesting here, well, thank you very much for sending out this smoke here, and thank you very much to Mr. Zhu and his assistants, and they climb a lot, and uh, I deny they have to protect the beehives from wild animals such as bears. So they have been very engaged and committed to their work. Well, it's worse well because, you know, eventually at the end of the day, you can take a bite of the very sweet honey. And so this is such a comprehensive process from raising a bee to enjoying the honey. So can we have some uh, warm water here? So I have some uh, ice cubes here. Let me just place my mic here. So there's one thing that is very interesting. For example, there are many different colors on the nest. Why, why is that? Because at different seasons, the bees, they take different flower powders. They take the, flo they take the powder from different types of flowers. Uh, the different flowers, they are in different color, and that is why the nest, which hosts this honey, is in different color. And uh, so you can see we have red, we have yellow. So you can simply tell that uh, at different seasons, the bees are fed on different flowers. So we are at the very final stage of uh, making this drink and uh, it's such hot weather and we have been doing a lot of uh, climbing and uh, is there anything more enjoyable than enjoying a drink after this? Well, let's put our glasses together. Cheers. You can shake it. Uh, I believe none of you have seen us drinking honey lemon water like this. We're using the raw slice of honey from the nest. It's fresh and sweet. So I heard from Mr. Ju that you have to be on duty at night. Have you had any encounters from the black bear? Can you share some stories with our viewers? Well, the most interesting story is that one night, well, it's not far from here. I saw a black bear with two babies. 
Well, that that is a very dangerous thing, and、uh, it's pretty scary. And I saw that scene. I just ran away because the baby bears are very small. And then my assistant saw that the second day, and you know the baby bears they are so small, and it's so small, but it's led by his mother, by their mother, in stealing our honey, and then. The mother bear, they took away our beehives, but he didn't go very long because his babies, her babies are very young, and、uh, you know he she couldn't carry it for very long. And those small bears, those baby bears, they just stand on their feet with you know two feet and.、Uh, I was watching the、uh, mother bear, and the mother bear was、uh, standing as the guard, was guarding against potential intruders,、uh, leaving the honey for only he,、uh, her babies.、And、just like a human mother, and、uh, if it is a single bear, the bear would simply take away the honey. So. We have got accustomed to those black bear, and、uh, it comes regularly. At the same time, every year, at around July and August, and those bears they don't settle here.、Uh, they don't come here in winter. They don't come here in spring. They only come here when the honey is ready and mature. So each and every year, they're gonna come here and claim dozens of.、Uh, Beehives, and so they know that this is very attractive. This is very delicious. So it has already become a pattern. So today, through this program, we brought our viewers closer to the cleave honey in Shennongjia, and we saw how the honey is harvested. We also gave you some introduction about the. Specialties of the cleave honey here. I also experienced how to harvest the honey, and、uh, let me once again repeat that if you are interested, you can find some information on our app. Oh, the bee is flying on my head, so you can find more information in the common area. We will give you a link in the common area, and also you can search from the Taobao shopping mall. You can type in Shennongjia Specialty. Shop, and if you are interested, you can make some purchases. You can be very supportive to our local industry here. So again, the name of the shop is called Shennongjia Specialty Gallery. All right, this is the end of today's program.、Uh, thank you very much to Mr. Chu, to District Mayor.、Uh, thank you very much for treating us with such. Delicious and sweet honey. All right, this is the end of today's program, and、uh, you can, if you have time, come and visit here and、uh, enjoy the beautiful scenery in Shennongjia National Nature Reserve. Thank you very much. Bye bye.